grand rising, grand rising, grand rising. How y'all doing? How's everything going? So, this is going to be short and sweet. I just want to give an update on what's about to come in tonight, the wave that's coming in. We get a little bit of sunshine this morning. It's been raining. And then the rain starts coming in, the storm starts coming in again tonight. I love purification, don't you? So, tonight we're bringing in a wave. Well, and also the solar magnetic energy is starting to permeate Earth's electromagnetic field even more so. Tonight, a wave of energy that's going to come in that is going to really challenge your guys' identities. And what I mean by that is you guys think your identity is your skin suit. And so your characters, your identity, your personality has been shaped and molded. That's what you guys have been working on for seven and a half years. Clearing those wounding templates attached to that. Good morning, good morning. And with that, who you are as a mortal human is not who you are at a soul level. You are, you're all aware of that. And so as the earth gets ready to implode and release a whole lot of solar radiation magnetic energy, more so than right now, and the land changes go into to a more rapid full force effect now because again we're going back to our original blueprint our original blueprint we are only one land mass with a circle of water around us if you will and is that going to happen overnight no but it's going to begin and as that begins leading us up to the solar flash which is not which is going to hit this earth plane sooner than most people think and as we build up to that, everything about your lower selves needs to die. That lower ego, that personality, that character that has lived on distrust, conditional love, manipulation, and narcissism of the inverted solar code matrix of good and evil, which kept you all in a repeating loop of victim, villain, hero, and savior. And so as this my truth, your truth, all the different frequencies and vibrations and everything fully converge, and I got absolute validation yesterday morning that the convergence has taken place exactly how, how we have said it has taken place. And in that, you guys are going to be challenged and faced with all of the things that you say you are that is not in alignment, if you will, with who and what you are. And what I mean by that, and I'm going to go live on my YouTube channel, Profundity Yours, tomorrow night at 8 o'clock Central, and really go more in depth about the I am commands and the commands that affirmations, this, that, and the other, and how they really work. I am stands for Intergalactic Alliance Masters. And we are the guardians of the Milky Way galaxy. We are the guardians of Earth and her inhabitants. And so when you guys make an affirmation or anything after the words I am, you're speaking to us. And we bring you the initiations and the obstacles as well as the guidance to help you guys evolve your souls. And you're at a space right now where we are finally on the physical aspect completely shift your perception to match your higher consciousness. How you perceive, each individually perceive the world is your enslavement. 
and why we keep encouraging you to get this shut down so this can come online. Not just having awareness of it, but actually embodying that higher code of honor without shame and disgrace of dishonoring your brothers and sisters because of the way they talk, the way they look, how they live, what they eat, what vibration they are at, what frequency, what truth, my truth, their truth. That is full duality, polarity. And that does not exist in the fifth dimensional frequency and above. And that type of shame and disgrace does not exist. And as long as you are not aware of how you see yourself and what you really are, there is a bipolar separation and that is your character and that is your personality which has become your guys' identity. And your identity has nothing to do with this skin suit. And so as all of this, this wave that we're bringing in tonight, it is going to now bring the judgment for you to pass self-judgment on yourself. And what I mean by that is it is going to bring even more mirrors to challenge that which you have spoken into existence. So if you say I am a high dimensional being, and if your human actions and mentality and words and thought process does not absolutely align with that command, it's coming back so you can see yourself. Again, Creator does not pass judgment. Creator brings judgment, the mirror. And so in every way, because all judgment is, is everything comes full circle. Energy you have put out fully comes back. So you can neutralize it and begin a new creation, if you will. And so that is what I mean by creator brings the judgment. Creator brings the experiences, the circumstances to show you that what you're commanding is not in line aligned with how you are being, if you will. So this wave of energy that's coming in tonight is all about your identity. You say you command, I am peaceful. You're going, if you truly are not that, that's where the I am comes in. The I am brings you an experience, brings you a circumstance to show you that you are not that which you say you are. And that, welcome to your life. <laughs> the challenging moments, this, that, and the other. So, this is where you truly are given the opportunity, if you can face the stuff and not fall into the, ne the narratives and kill the messenger. If you can really pay attention to what is triggered, what you're faced with, this and that, you're going to be able to surrender your mortal fully into your higher consciousness so your whole vessel can now become aligned with fully your higher self. But you cannot do that if you're still holding on to the mortal limited version of yourself of polarity in any way, including shame or disgrace or dishonor or this or that. Because even though it can be appeared as, oh, well, that I can accept and love you unconditionally. That's just your truth and that's, this is my truth. That is disharmony. Because outside of that limited enslaved perception of separation, there is no truth and untruth. That is a polar opposite. There is only light information. And so as all of these personality separational templates really come back at you, remember, all energy is an aftermath. It's energy you already put out and it will always come back more intense. So as your personality, your identity and your character is challenged, Within 72 hours after the wave we bring in, or tonight, 
late tonight, early tomorrow morning. Keep in mind, guys, this is to challenge you to truly see where you're living by a matrix of inverted solar codes of good and evil and separation. Consciously, unconsciously, knowingly, or unknowingly. So you can truly surrender your mortal to become your immortal self in a diamond crystalline body. Again, this is going to be challenging for some. Because this is where you guys have to be brutally honest with yourself. Where you're still trying to be a, some body that's special, that needs recognized, that, that needs attention, that needs a title, that needs a label, any and all of this stuff. And it's going to come in and it's going to face every one of you. Now it's going to be more tougher on, on you that have awareness. Why? Because you have awareness <laughs> and you're misusing your powers. And that distortion, if you're going into the fifth dimension, has to stop. This my truth, your truth, this separation of all of these channelings, all of this. It's time for you guys to step into your higher consciousness and become that rather than playing these limited awakening star seeds that still want to battle about in the spiritual astral plane of who's right and who's wrong. Who's above somebody else because somebody else is at a lower frequency, bad vibes, this, that, or the other. Your guys' perception has caused you to, once again, disgrace and shame your brothers and sisters. When unity consciousness sees electric and magnetic, it does not see anything about duality in any way. And so as these perceptions of polarity truly come to the surface where the light is to be revealed, guys, take the opportunity to pass judgment on yourself truly. The reason you guys have suffered is because you will not pass judgment on yourselves. You guys are gods and goddesses. You love to put commands out, but you guys will not take responsibility and accountability. And it's time you guys pass hardcore judgment because your morality, your honesty, your integrity, and your ethics, again, look at the outside world, because of your guys' words. The second you speak something is the second you're going to have it come back on you. And because you guys haven't recognized your own energy coming back and you have continued to shame and disgrace and dishonor each other, even in the awakening awareness communities. You guys love to call people false light and dark and this and that. And this is the time where all that objective energy that you guys have now put out into the quantum field now is going to be returned for you masters to truly neutralize and use your power to shift this land. To shift the consciousness for 7.7 .7 billion people. So, yes, you guys are going to be given some pretty ugly mirrors with this energy coming up. I'm not going to lie to you. But this is energy that you guys have put out to each other in the awakening awareness communities of still rejecting each other by low vibes, high vibes, this vibe, da 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 And not dealing with your own wounding and your own perception of limitation. Again... You guys have 12 angles of perspective, 12 petals of a flower of life that you had to clear. You guys call it density dimensions of the material realms. And you guys focus so much on the higher realms that, again, that's normal part of spiritual mastery. You get caught up here in the light, the only thing you start seeing is distortion. Again, it's a matter of bringing peace and balance and harmony and equanimity to polar worlds, polarity, and bring it to a neutral space. This is what you guys have waited for. And this is what you guys are going to give great opportunity to truly surrender your mortal to become absolutely your higher self. And so, react. don't react, guys. Don't fall into my truth, your truth. When these energies come back, remember your conduits. You're here 
to stop the Armageddon timeline, and, and that is by this energy coming up. So even though it is very personal and may seem personal, remember, your feeling for this earth, your feeling for Gaia, if you will. And as earth really starts going into those labor pains, gentlemen, I'm aware that you guys really don't know how they feel on the human aspect. But ladies, any of you who have gone through labor, it can be a very traumatic event. And we're starting hardcore labor right now. The land is. And so guys, really before you comment, before you react, before you respond, before you jump into the battle, be responsible from your higher consciousness and really understand there is no battle. It's just the mirrors of what you have commanded that you are coming back to show you that you are not that which you speak. And so go into the deep shame and dishonor those feelings because they may be triggered by somebody out here, but truly nobody out here can make you feel any way. You choose how you feel. And if you're getting triggered, that's your soul showing you, hey, this is the dishonor that feeling that you have carried unconsciously because you were not living by your higher consciousness. And there's not one human that has lived by their higher consciousness from the day they were born into this incarnation. So that's the energy that is being released. The universe is bringing back your own energy to you. And truly, for some, it's not going to be pleasant. Because this is where truly your masks, your disguises, that which you are now becomes apparent. Everybody else can see it but you. And, you know, this is where you put your character and you write it on your skin for the world to see. And if you can't see it, the world will certainly reflect it back because the universe will always choose that which has been chosen. And that which has been chosen is all of the commands that you have spoken that you have not been able to live up to. Being ascended masters, I am peaceful, I am harmonious, I am strong, I am this. All of the affirmations to help you build the strength within your heart, the light within your heart, so you could awaken. Now, all those that you still are not able to live up to, that energy will come back to show you, you are not being that which you spoke into existence. So be patient with yourselves. Be patient with each other. Truly, guys, the only place unconditional love exists is in a space of neutrality and zero point because you're not choosing an either or. If you guys stay there, you will get through some of the deepest pain that you hold within your heart. And that is the dishonor that has been unconscious to you. That is the shame that has been unconscious to you. Because in your de-evolution of your morality, your honesty, your integrity, and your ethics, because of your wounding, you guys have distrusted each other and this world. And you got caught up in skin suit stories rather than living from your higher consciousness and being guided by your soul. So, stay grounded, stay hydrated. This is not going to be an easy wave of energy. You may or may not start feeling it first thing in the morning. The majority will start feeling it after 48 to 72 hours. Stay here, guys. Because truly, as the skin suits and the cloaks of skin suiting dissolve, you're going to start seeing things. You're going to start seeing that everyone's your brother and sister and not the character roles the masks of mommy, daddy, brother, sister, molester, rapist, this, that, and the other. They played roles for you so you could reach this state of maturity. So you could graduate outside of the story of good and evil. And only you guys will either neutralize yourself or continue 
in a false narrative of good and evil, right and wrong, either or, my truth, your truth. This is your opportunity to walk your talk and to prove the commands that you guys have been saying that you are unified. So truly, stay neutral and you will see all the information. But the second you come out of that neutral space, you will blind yourself to the truth. So surrender, guys. Plain mortal is, has ended. Have a great day, guys. Join me tomorrow night on YouTube on Profundity Yours. I am going to go more into your I am presence, what it is, your guardians of the, inter, the I am, the intergalactic alliance masters, and just how your commands create, and I will also give you more commands to help you bring, should you choose, yourself into being comfortable being stable and being familiar in your higher consciousness. So let's dance, guys. Have a great day. So much love, so many blessings. And truly, don't react or respond. Stay neutral. And you will fly through this with a lot more grace and ease. But remember, you're bringing alive 355 sensory senses. That which has been numbed because you guys have suppressed your shame, your disgrace, your abandonment that you put on from Creator. Let yourself pass through the cervix, if you will. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye now.